with a driverless car, when you make a mistake, the consequences are, are very painful and potentially irreversible. Whereas with a cashierless store, even if you make a mistake, you know, the mistake, first of all, is not that, that big of a problem because probably nobody dies. So you work in this uh, cashierless uh, area in retail and the omnichannel retail plus e-commerce. So why payments are a big pain for customers today? It is actually hiring a cashier is, is one of the, the biggest running costs for a, for a retail location. You know, it just basically limits all where you can open up a retail and it's economically feasible. So there's places where you can put in a vending machine where you, where, where you wouldn't have a person sitting all the time. Uh, and same with cashierless stores, it just opens up a lot of places where you wouldn't otherwise put a store because it just wouldn't be economically feasible. And no one would like to sit there, you know, all, all day and all night. You know, how, at high level, how do they work? Like, how, how do you create a cashierless store? Obviously, you need to detect what's happening in the store. So if somebody picks something up from the shelf, you've got to be able to detect that. So the, the way we do it in the, you know, most course detail is we develop these, these let's call it smart shelves, which basically each, each, each of the shelf kind of monitors what's going on. And then when, when an event happens, it, it detects it and then sends any relevant data to, to a computer which can process it. And then the computer tries to figure out so what exactly happened, which is what product got picked up and, and how many items got picked up and so on and so forth. And then once, once we know that, we have to match that event to a person. So, you know, we have to have cameras looking, you know, either from the ceiling or from the sides, find out who is there and then match it to a person. Who's, who's actually committed the event. And then once that's done, we have to basically track back that, that person to, to a payment authorization. Uh, we saw Elon Musk with the self-driving car saying that they would be around, uh, I would say eight years ago, they're still not around. Uh, when are we gonna see the cashierless uh, stores around? I think they're coming very soon. And and the reason why why I think it's a, it's a quite different beast than a driverless car is that with a driverless car, when you make a mistake, the consequences are, are very painful and potentially irreversible. Whereas with the, with, the, with the cashierless store, even if you make a mistake, you know, the mistake, first of all, is not that, that big of a problem because probably nobody dies in the process. Somebody may be charged for, for an item they didn't buy, or maybe they get an item for free, which is even less painful for them. But even if, if there's a mistake, you can always basically go back to the data and cancel the transaction and go back and review it, basically charge for the proper item. So it's all reversible. Whereas with, with self-driving cars, it's, it's actually not reversible. And, and so you need to get to the level of safety, which people will be comfortable with. And, and the level of safety for, for cars is actually extremely high. So contrary to the popular narrative, humans are, are very good drivers. Um, they drive around for, a, you know, on average 100 million miles before they get involved into a fatal crash. Um, and which means basically most of us will drive their entire lives and never get into a serious crash. So that's a very high bar for, um, for a machine learning system to, to basically fit.